this is our second part of the three-part series of arm workouts for when you're riding the dirt bike. So today I have three different pieces of equipment we're going to be using, three workouts, should only take about 15 minutes. We're going to do that for five sets, um, 10 to 12 reps if you want, you can go higher if you're stronger, and it's all about how you feel. The goal is to make on your last two sets-ish, is to make that last rep super hard to do. So, um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the video. I have the bike here to show demonstration on what um, exact muscles we're going to be using um, in our arms. You're probably like, well, what muscles do we use in our arms other than our forearms and everything? So, but yeah, when you're in your attack position, like I said in the leg workout video, if you did watch that, and if you didn't, um, I highly recommend you go watch that too. But yeah, so when you're in your attack position, again, balls of your feet. Again, our suspension is all in our foot, so you want to be able to move freely there. You want to have your knees, your legs straight, somewhat straight. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but try to keep them straight. And squeeze with your legs, and then you want your chin down to your bod pad. So, we're up in here, elbows out, elbows up, and we have our hands turned in. So, when you're, when you're gripping your brakes, your clutch, um, a lot of that work is in your forearms. So when I grip this, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of a grip strength trainer, but what that does is it kind of works on your forearm strength so you can close your hand tighter and it not get tired as much. But so we're in our attack position. You got to think when we're when we're riding, our main strength is in our arms because we're trying to keep the front end down. You're going into a corner. To show an example of if you're going into a corner, I'll show this. So when you're going into a corner, if you're sitting down, which I like to sit down, I have not gotten to the level of standing up yet. I will one day. It's just, that's a big jump for me. Um, I am going to work on that this season though. But when you're going into the corner, you're still, your elbows are up, hands turned in, and you're, you, of course you got your hands on the controls and everything. Um, but when you're going into a corner, say you're going into a right hand turn, you're going to put your foot out. If you put your foot on, I keep my feet on the pegs. That's just me. I try to anyways. I'm sure if you've seen in past videos, I haven't, but I am definitely getting better at doing that. So, but when you're going to the corner, you're kind of turning. And if you're trying to weave past someone or bob and weave through um, tight spaces, um, this, this can work for woods riding too. If you're going into uh, trees or anything, but um, so yeah, if you're, if you're going into a corner and you're kind of turning and trying to get through every space, I mean, it really helps. You, you see it, you're, you'll feel it in your arms right here, your triceps, your biceps, your shoulders. I mean, every, everything upper body, your, your lats, your everything. So a lot of muscles are engaged when you're riding. That's why it's so tiring on our bodies. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. But without further ado, let's get into the workouts we can use to um, strengthen those muscles we're using. So thank you. Like I preached this in the trackside workouts, we're going to do a shoulder workout with an overhead press. Uh, like I said, 10 to 12 reps um, is your main focus. Uh, I'm using 35 pound weights. Um, the main goal is to keep pick up, rotate over, keep your shoulders kind of tucked out like this. And the main goal is just to go up, down. And you just want to have that squeeze. You'll feel it in the back of your shoulders and on your top back muscles. I think those are your lats. Um, I'm not good with the muscle groups, but I can remember the main ones, but the back is kind of hard for me. But up, down, up, down. So that focuses on your shoulders and this muscle right here. I don't know if you can see that. But um, also, if you're in the weight room, you could do an incline bench press. So that is mainly just where you go, you're on the bench and you're going up and your, your bench is at an incline. So it's normal when you hear bench press, you're normally playing flat. Um, on a bench press, on an incline bench, you actually have your seat and then if yours is able to adjust, it will rotate up. And so if it's rotated up like this, you get your bar. You can use with dumbbells too if you have a bench. Um, standing is fine for me, um, especially when I'm at home and not in the weight room. But yeah, you just take your barbell and get it like thumbs right and then you just come down and then up. So that's the main focus with that right there is your shoulders. Um, again, 
it's not much equipment you need to have on hand. Like I said, if you wanted, you could use cinder blocks or milk jugs or anything. It's just something to have a weight. It is no excuses. There's people out there in India that work out with concrete they've plastered on sticks and everything. I mean, that's mad respect to them, so. But yeah, uh, so that's our first workout. Going in our next workout, it will be a sandbag workout. So, a sandbag, I'm sure you've heard people talk about it. Uh, it mine, I think, um, Andrew got it off of Amazon. Um, it's a garage fit. Um, you get sand, obviously, and you put it in a bag that goes inside this bag so it doesn't go everywhere. Um, this bag's super durable. Um, I don't necessarily use this a lot, but I'm going to start incorporating it more. Um, this is going to be a simple, you're going to keep this, you're going to kind of hold it in your hand, and you're going to kind of do like a press. So you're going to go up and throw it. So this is a more like a 20 rep kind of workout for me. Sure, it is more time consuming, but it's normal just to kind of bend with your knees. Not too much power with your knees because then you're not getting as much work. Um, this will work your biceps too. Um, bend with your knees. Throw it. Super simple. I think there's like 60 pounds in here maybe. So yeah, just kind of hold it in your hand. Again, I'll show another demonstration. Hold it in your hand. A little movement in the knees, not much, because if you go, oh, that's a lot of power. You, see, you feel it in your leg. If you want to do it in your leg, you can, but it's not what we're focusing on. So yeah, again, one more time. Keep your hands braced, a little movement. That was kind of um, anticlimactic. Let me get it more adjusted here. One more, here we go. Boom. Super simple, just throw it. So yeah, that's our workout with that. Um, that mainly kind of that kind of engages your core, goes into our core workouts we will do in the part three of the three part series of just kind of training for your dirt bike. So, um, but that is our second to last workout. And going into our next workout, that will be a slam ball workout. Um, this is a 10 pound slam ball. They're made to be very durable. It's rubber, if you can't see. Um, it's very pliable. Um, definitely not hard as a rock. Um, that would suck especially what we're doing with it. So um, you can do this in your garage. You could do it in your living room if you wanted, but it would make a lot of noise. And I'd hate for you to, if you're really strong, send this straight through your flooring, your sub floor. Um, you shouldn't though, but it'll knock stuff off the walls for sure. Um, so yeah, this is also gonna kind of focus on our arms. And this is kind of gonna be like a, it's kind of something I came up with, but it's a very endurance and stamina. Um, enduring workout so it's kind of a stand up it's kind of like a kettlebell swing if you looked at the trackside workout video is what we focused on um, but your kettlebell swing was kind of a just came out to here this so to uh, demonstrate you'll go down throw like I didn't just smoke myself in the head which I didn't it always terrifies me even though I throw it perfectly so yeah just try to throw it out as high as you can and get that explosiveness in your legs and your arms. So that's what we're doing there. Uh, I can do, I'll do one more demonstration. Again, you go down, explosive. So behind you, that landed all the way in the woods. It's a pretty simple workout. Definitely not the most uh, muscle building. I'm going into um, our outro here. I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, like I said, it's not much, but um, this, is, this is a good video to kind of show um, what workouts you can do um, with some equipment if you do have some. So, okay. um, like I said, this is our second part in our three part series of training on the bike, um, off the bike training. So, you just arm workouts and everything. So, I could demonstrate it earlier if you want to rewind and see kind of what we use and everything. So, um, but yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button.